All right, boys. I felt that. <laughs> Let's see what you got there, friend. Tim set it in. I'm set it in. You're over here screwing things up yet? Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One shot. We're in the house. Got our little crib area. We got our bathroom. Got an extra room over here. It's all dark. Boom! Let there be light. Got another bed in here. Little kitchen area, window, stove, fridge, sink. Another bedroom. Pretty sweet. So, <clears throat> Tim, Brian, hey, hey. how do you Hello. feel about your zeros? Confident. Confident. <laughs> Throw that in six rounds. Not bad. All right. <laughs> let's go get some food. I do what I do. Because <laughs> I have had people shoot as soon as I dropped the ball. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds all right to me. That's, that's good luck. I mean, I guess we could probably work something right. out there. We'll just throw it in the back. <laughs> Pull over to the side of the road. Bang! All right, guys, that was fun. <laughs> Blew my load early. <laughs> Blew my load early. Right. Well.
Hog down. Hog down. <laughs> Should've put some ear pro in. That 6.5 Creedmoor put it down. Going to have some meat for the freezer, baby. <laughs> oh, this is freaking cool. So I could have sat here and I could have waited for more hogs. I could have let more hogs come in. Bottom line is, the hog looked good enough. It came up past the leg of the feeders enough. It was the biggest one of them all, for the four of them. Uh, and I need meat in the freezer, bottom line. We're kind of doing something a little different here this this trip in south carolina we're down here in south carolina with williams hunting and we're um we're we're getting some hogs this year i made that new year's resolution saying that i wouldn't eat anything uh, from the grocery store meat wise and i gotta uphold that so I need some more freezer meat I need some more hog meat that's what we got here i'm pretty proud of that we, uh, we're sitting over feeders, some I've never really done before. Actually, I've never done it before, and I'm okay with it. We're sitting here, killing wild hogs as they come in, and you help them take care of population. So, hey, it's good stuff. This is where we're sitting in. We're up in this standing blind.
right, guys. So we've had a wonderful hunt here in uh, South Carolina and in Lodge, South Carolina. We're out here hunting with Williams Hunting. So we went out there this morning around 6:30 in the morning. And then we <clears throat> got up into our individual stands. All of us dropped off by a UTV. It was pretty sweet, uh, pretty sick gig. So it was exciting. We're out there. It's early in the morning. It's it's kind of kind of hot still. We're in South Carolina in the middle of June. So I mean, it's going to be a little toasty. Uh, all of a sudden, we're sitting there. Feeder goes off around 8 a.m and the hogs start coming in and we're sitting there and I'd already been busted by about two to three I'd already been busted about two to three times by a couple deer uh, there's a couple deer off to my left right now they got these two to three inch little velvet spikes going and it's pretty sweet so I'm having a great time <clears throat> and I'm looking at these hogs and I'm like man these hogs are kind of small they're, they're all filtering in there's about four or five there's about eight originally and they all filtered into different directions some off, went off to Brian some went off towards Tim um, and I'm just sitting there with like three or four left over I'm looking at him looking at him looking at him and there's this one that's about two to three inches taller than the others and so I'm, I'm thinking about it I'm like man I just don't know if I want to shoot him but the longer I thought about it the harder I thought about it I said you know what he might be a good meat, meat hog little, little meat hog uh, come to find out, he was only 45 pounds, not what I was looking for, but you know what, we're going to we're gonna eat him anyways. So, we got him in the cooler, we're all ready to go. I had a great time, and I hope that you guys have a great time watching this. So, if you, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Uh, it means the world to me, and if you want to hit that bell button at the top, then uh, you'll get notifications every time that I post something. So, as always guys, it's been a pleasure, thank you for watching.